10 games Ooh. we can't wait to play on Xbox Games Pass in 2024. So, um, from a reputable, reputable source, Pure Xbox, got a sneak peek into the most anticipated games come to Xbox Games Pass in 2024. Platform has had a remarkable year, and uh, the upcoming year promises to be more have a more exciting lineup. So, the games we're looking at on this are... Da, 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 da. We have Arc 2, which is, um, I can describe as like survival dinosaur, survival with dinosaurs and stuff. I uh, heard about Arc. I've heard about Arc. So, I know, so that's interesting. So I've seen it and I've, I've been meaning to play it, but I kind of want to play it with someone. No one's really up for playing it. So I was like, oh, all right, fair enough. I'll leave it. I'll leave it be. Um, so it's face delays and stuff. So. It may face more delays. It might not even get to 2024. But uh, a world filled with humans and dinosaurs. Um, always interesting. Then we've got Avowed. Uh, this is from uh, Obsidian Entertainment. First person RPG fantasy. Expected to be one of the big releases. So they did. The last one they did was The Outer Worlds. Which is, is ironic because The Outer Worlds... Gameplay wise, is probably not as broad. I won't say deep, I will say as broad as Starfield, but the character is there. Um, it had the weird kind of setup, it's got the strange kind of world where you've got the, the corporate mad shenanigans going on. You've got a guy who works on a space station who won't take off his giant moon head, uh, and it's kind of funny and interesting. And that's the thing that, that's what's I always say it's missing from staff. I moment. remember watching a trailer with you on a podcast about that Outer Worlds. I do remember that. Not played yeah. it, but I do remember the trailer. And you and it did stick uh, stick out as being a bit zany. Yeah, but we've got that. So you got, got Avowed. Then we've got Dungeons of Hindenburg. Interesting. The Dungeons of Hindenburg is uh, combines an action RPG and a social sim. Players get to explore the village of Hindenburg in its magical dungeon, solving puzzles and battling monsters. Um, which would be cool. Is it, isn't it's, that Zelda? <laughs> in a village. Okay, That's when we, village. we sit there and say a village. With Zelda's got Hyrule. And yeah. then the shadow version of Hyrule uh, to go with it. So, so yeah, it looks, um, looks interesting. It's done in a weird art style. Um, yeah. It's it's like cell shading, but a bit more. I can't. There's, it's, uh, my wife would know this because she's into her art and bits. Um, that kind it's of cartoony comic book thing. E yeah. to me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have do, 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 Hollow Knight from Silk Song. Um, the sequel to the award-winning Hollow Knight. Hollow, Hollow Knight. Um, this game's highly anticipated. Uh, the release date's still a little uncertain. Um, I played it briefly. I'm it's... any good? No, I played the first. Sorry, I played the first one briefly. Not this, not this. Yeah, new yeah, one. no, I know that. Um, <laughs> so, me, I didn't explain. Um, I, I'm, um, I can see the appeal, but I don't like it because it's just personal preference. There's nothing actually wrong with the game. It's just me. Is that it a rolling sense? platformer? I, it's is a rolling platformer. Is? Yeah, I preferred the my, my favorite platformer was um, oh, Carrion. Where you get to play a monster and you get to chase people through a, through a lab and solve puzzles and stuff. I enjoyed the hell yeah. out of that. I think it's because I've had, uh, over my time I've played so many. Um, but hey, it's uh, it's an interesting look. I like the style. It reminds oh, me of another. It's game. beautiful. It's beautiful. It is it is a really well. It's a really well presented presented game, and um, people who enjoy it, you can see one of the appeals to it. But uh, again, I'm not kind okay. of. Not my thing. Mm. I've I've kind of gone past it. I've played because I played Super Mario Brothers one, two, three, World, um, Metro, Super Metroid, which is probably one of the best platformers and stuff like that. I kind of feel like I I was I was spoiled and no, no going back. I've got Persona three reloaded. Um, Persona three I reloaded. I think the Matrix reloaded for a second. So uh, it's a, a reimagining of the classic Persona three game. Um, Plans to have cutting edge graphics and uh, more exciting, uh, more exciting things there for them. Um, and then we've got 
replaced. Um, yeah, I just realised I didn't copy the notes down for the next five games. Oops. <laughs> It replaced here, and um, I'm going to see if I was going to pull my notes out then, but it's uh, a 2D uh, sci-fi retro super uh, super futuristic action platformer where you play as Reach, an artificial intelligence trapped in a human bo body uh, against its own will. Replaced uh, combines cinematic platforming, pixel art, and free-flowing action combat set in an alternative 1980s. It's a bloody mouthful, I'll be honest with you. But um, it's let's pull some of these, these things. Is that? I was gonna say, okay. okay, looks gorgeous. That looks absolutely gorgeous. It the, does no, look really interesting. You know, when you remember a game and you then play the game, and in your head, the graphics were better and tidier and cleaner. Yes, you know, the point and click adventures that's what the point and click adventures look like in my head, but I know they don't yes. look, like that. yeah, so no, have, like, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But I, I, I was trying to think of games like that. I remember like the original Homeworld blowing me away. Then I played it about a year and a half ago when Homeworld 3 was meant to come out. Um, and uh, it didn't look as good as I remember it. <laughs> as I know what you mean. But that looks gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I popped on to send you a bloody sacrifice. Then we've got uh, send you a sacrifice Hellblade 2. I... I... Right, so uh, Ninja, I can't remember if it's Ninja Theory that made the game. Um, yeah, it is Ninja Theory. Now, Ninja Theory made some other games too, and um, your camera's just died, Keith. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you want to just flip your camera from to go to icon mode for a moment? I have to cut this out. Um, but I, I remember the, uh, what do you call it? They had the exclusive on the, on the PlayStation 3 and some other games, and enslaved and i i actually it's weird because i don't actually like ninja theory games so i know I, again it's one of those things i can see the appeal the graphics they use the um they use the latest technology for i think it's unreal the unreal engine and it's um it does look absolutely fantastic but she looks oh, hang on i'll skip that she looks like she's having a big poo <laughs> 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 she looks like she needs some fiber in her diet. Like, <laughs> um, it does look good, but that's the thing. Actually, saying that the first lot of of screenshots and images that I saw from um, the Hellblade were literally her like chanting and straining. So. I'm very shallow, very shallow opinion, a uh, uh, view on it. But yeah, then we got one game that I am actually really excited for because I played this. I played the first one on on my PC, and then I didn't update my PC, so I couldn't play the the, the next one, which I think was a prequel. And uh, Stalker Two, which is uh, a survival game set in um, the wastelands around Chernobyl. And yeah. I just remember getting finally getting to the reactor. In there and then finding out the secret because it was i was told that uh you need to just push a little further when you get to the reactor i didn't know what that meant and it got to the reactor and then i followed some other thing and i found that there were four psychic people that were manipulating everyone inside of the zone as they called it i remember um, this game i never yeah. played it but i remember seeing a few videos on it um and and things like that and i couldn't remember the secret but now you've reminded me i do remember oh, yeah. this so there's a second I, get second one coming out, is there? Uh, they've had really had one a prequel to it, but then yeah, you've got the second one coming out that follows up, I imagine, from that first one. What I really liked it, there's a bit where you, you're supposed to go to the to the core and ask for a wish, and it grants you whatever your wish is. And there's one where the guy goes in there and he wishes for gold and it just starts raining gold from the ceiling. And then it cuts to because the psychic people are messing with you, it cuts to the real world and the ceiling's collapsing and it's rubble that is raining on him, not gold. Um, which yeah, I thought well. was quite clever, because um, I wanted to know because I was told directly, don't, don't, no, no, no cool shits further around the corner. Keep going, keep pushing. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm glad. I, I was glad I was told that. Um, still wakes the deep. I know nothing about this. 1975 disaster strikes the Virid D oil rig off the coast of uh, Scotland. Navigate your way through a collapsing oil rig to save the crew 
and an, uh, from an otherworldly horror. Oh, that sounds quite hang interesting. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, <laughs> I'm, getting a, I'm getting a bit of deja vu here. <laughs> this is the rig. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this yeah it sounds a bit like i've seen this before <laughs> yes. um it looks it, it that, definitely give that one a go it, it, give that one a go. as a game it could be quite interesting actually you know what, yeah, a, what a cool setting i don't think it's um see that look at this i like it look at the detail on that mm. that's someone that's interesting the, the, the the set design artist, whatever you want to call it, the, the environmental artist, clearly loved what they were doing because that looks it looks borderline real. Um, but that's fantastic. Still wakes the deep. That's an interesting one. Okay, so we've got next, we've got Towerborn. It sounds like a tower defense game. I think it might look like a tower defense game. It's not a tower defense game. I'm wrong. It's a, it's a four player co op action kind of beat em up sort of thing. Looks quite cool. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. That looks looks interesting. Um they don't have much on it, ironically. Tower uh Towerborn is all the markings to be a surprise. Hits on the Xbox Games Pass in 2024. And the best part is it's actually being developed by Xbox Game Studios. The developer previously worked on Banner Saga trilogy and the initial previews have dished out of uh, dished out a lot of praise for the promising arcade beat em up we're hopeful for in 2024 and i think that's it that's um ten. that's my 10 even though i put 5 down on my notes cuz i'm can't copy and paste um <laughs> I should really 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 learn how to copy and paste properly um so yeah it's uh, there's a couple on there that i really like the look of the the rig one that looks like that it'll be interesting. interesting. I, don't, mm. I don't know if I'm going to be spending hours on end playing um, that, but... It looked a bit eerie. I, I wonder if it's going to be one of those freaky out games where you, you know, um, you record another live stream of you playing it if it's that scary. Because those, no, those are YouTube gold. Oh, no, <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... I don't think I'd get scared. I, I, the unknown, I find, is more scary than than, than the known. But to, um, to, to be to be honest, the oil rig one was the one that interested me because I thought, you know, actually, as a game, that's quite an interesting setting. Um, and it limits your obviously the size of your player map, but you can pile in on the sort of detail, and it did look really detailed. That that to me looks like a, an interesting game. That'd be the type of game I, I'd want to play. So, yeah, yeah, it's... yeah. Out of all of them, that interested me, and actually, Ark kind of interested me when I heard about it. So, I... Ark two, messing around with dinosaurs, it's dinosaurs, isn't it? Building, like, yeah, building bases and fighting other people online. It's <sighs> what you call it. It's one of those games I should have played, like Mad Men. Yeah. It's a TV series I should have watched, but haven't got around yeah. to watching. Yeah, so... I know what you mean by that. I it's... know what you mean by that definitely in that list anyway time for our next story Ooh. 